Zopa raises 75 million British pounds to accelerate growth. Zopa, a digital bank, has raised 75 million British pounds in Tier 2 capital, aiming to further accelerate its mission of growth. BNY Mellon launches open banking service Bankify. US-based BNY Mellon has launched its open banking service Bankify in partnership with Trustly, to allow firms to receive customer payments from bank accounts. SAP FeeOwner partners with MasterCard. Financial services software solutions and platforms provider SAP FeeOwner has announced a partnership with MasterCard to embed commercial payments and services into its platforms. Nagad partners with TerraPay for cross-border money transfers. Global payments network TerraPay has announced a partnership with Bangladesh-based mobile financial services provider Nagad to enable customer access to cross-border money transfers. Affirm partners with Booking.com. Payment network Affirm has announced its partnership with Booking.com in order to provide travelers and customers with improved and flexible payment options. Instacart launches new omni-channel and AI updates for grocery. Instacart has updated its storefront and caper carts to help retailers advance their e-commerce, digitize their stores, and create AI-driven omni-channel experiences for customers. PayPal partners with Meta. PayPal has announced its partnership with Meta in order to allow donations on Facebook and Instagram in the regions of the US. UK, Australia, and Canada. ACI Worldwide Survey finds bill payment anxiety brings interest to real-time payments. ACI Worldwide has released its ACI SpeedPay Pulse Report, research that delves into consumer billing, payment trends, and payment experiences across different generations. Big Commerce Survey finds expectations continue to grow on B2B e-commerce. Big Commerce has released the results of its Global B2B Buyer Behavior Report, examining the changing habits and preferences of B2B buyers in the US, UK, and Australia. Moment secures 15 United States dollars MLN investment to drive fintech innovation. U.S.-based fintech Moment has received US$15 million United States dollars in a capital raise led by TrueStage Ventures to continue innovating its payment and lending solutions for businesses. Capgemini partners with Salesforce. French technology company Capgemini has announced the introduction of a generative AI for the CX foundry that can be used for clients of Salesforce. PayU India's big step towards fintech carbon neutrality. Payment solutions provider PayU India has launched an initiative with cleantech startup Footprint Lab, enabling customers to contribute to a sustainable future when transacting. CERTA raises US$35 million United States dollars in a Series B funding round. US-based all-in-one third-party management platform CERTA has raised US$35 million in an oversubscribed Series B funding round. Visa Research showcases emerging fraud schemes in retail and e-commerce. Visa has released its Fall 2023 edition of Biannual Threats Report, which highlights emerging fraud schemes targeting the global economy. Some sub partners with AML Incubator to simplify IDV. Full cycle verification platform SumSub has announced a partnership with Canada based regulatory compliance outsourcing company AML Incubator to simplify identity verification. JP Morgan is looking into a blockchain based digital deposit token. US-based JP Morgan has revealed its plans to expand its blockchain initiatives by introducing a blockchain-based digital deposit token. IMF and FSB compile a synthesis paper for crypto assets.
The International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the Financial Stability Board, FSB, have revealed new policy and regulatory recommendations for crypto assets. Taiwan wants to restrict unregistered overseas crypto exchanges. The Financial Supervisory Commission, FSC, of Taiwan wants to prohibit foreign VASPs from illegally soliciting business within Taiwan. CFPB takes aim at Apple over NFC chip access. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB, has fired a shot across Apple's bows over the tech giant's policy of restricting access to the NFC chip technology that enables iPhone users to make payments. BNY Mellon launches open banking payments service. BNY Mellon has teamed up with Trustly to launch an open banking-based service that makes it practical for organizations to support consumer payments directly from bank accounts. World First Records 50% Increase in Transactions During 2023 World First, a one-stop global payment and financial services platform for SMEs engaged in cross-border trade, reported that international SME buyers have increasingly adopted the World First cross-border pay solution for 1688, one of China's top wholesale marketplaces, as SMEs in Southeast Asia and other parts of the world seek cost-effective sourcing options to stay competitive. U.S. Faster Payments Council announces board advisory group members. The U.S. Faster Payments Council, FPC, a membership organization devoted to advancing safe, easy-to-use faster payments in the United States, today announced its 2023-2024 FPC board advisory group, a standing body authorized by the FPC board of directors. The board advisory group is comprised of experts from diverse corners of the payments ecosystem including financial institutions, technology providers, business end-users, payment network operators, consultant groups, and payments associations. CFTC calls for U.S. Crypto Regulatory Sandbox On Thursday, Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC, Commissioner Caroline Pham advocated for a limited pilot program for digital asset regulation in the U.S. CFTC issues orders against three DeFi operators for illegal derivatives trading. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission today continued its enforcement focus in the digital asset decentralized finance, DeFi, space by issuing orders simultaneously filing and settling charges against Open, Inc., a Delaware-registered company based in California, Zero EX, Inc., a Delaware company based in California, and Deridex, Inc., a Delaware company based in North Carolina. Taxbit unveils AI-enabled rules engine for crypto accounting. Taxbit the premier end-to-end -end modern tax and accounting solution for the digital economy, announced its AI-enabled rules engine to empower businesses dealing with cryptocurrencies to streamline their accounting processes. As blockchains face congestion, Level 2s offer a solution. Layer 2s are the newest solution to hit the cryptocurrency market and are poised to alleviate the mounting transaction processing load, thereby enhancing scalability. In the limits of crypto and the rise of Layer 2s, Joel Hugentobler, cryptocurrency analyst at Javelin Strategy and Research, delves into the obstacles that blockchain networks are contending with, what layer twos are, and the risks associated with adopting this solution within a traditional business model. Barriers facing blockchain network Hugentobler's report acknowledges the growing demand for block space. Upvest to support Plum's product expansion across Europe. Germany-based fintech, Upvest, is set to provide Plum, the smart money app, with its investment API, enabling the latter to expand its range of investment opportunities to EU customers. MasterCard partners with CredX MasterCard has teamed up with supply chain finance platform CredX to make B2B digital payments rewarding for both enterprises and vendors.
ANC Worldline Payment Solutions now offers tap to pay on iPhone. ANC Worldline Payment Solutions has announced that it now offers tap to pay on iPhone to its customers in Australia, enabling simplified and secure contactless payment acceptance technology. Repay Partners with Quadiant US-based Repay Holdings Corporation has partnered with Quadiant in order to improve the latter's AP automation platform with embedded payment offerings. Hyundai introduces in-vehicle payment service Hyundai Pay. Hyundai Motor America has launched Hyundai Pay, a service that allows customers to find and pay for things with the vehicle's touchscreen, using the stored credit card information. Ant Group Digital Technologies launches Zan Brand. China-based Ant Group Digital Technologies has launched the Zan Brand to offer blockchain application development products and services. Square Outage leaves sellers unable to process payments. Square is suffering a major systems outage that has left sellers unable to access their accounts or process payments for more than 12 hours. India achieves financial inclusion target in six years, G20. As a result of digital payment options and uptake, India has taken just six years to reach its financial inclusion target of 80% to 41 years earlier than originally anticipated. This concludes our current edition of the Bay Pay Forum podcast. Remember that you can read the full text of each article in our news section on baypayforum.com. We hope to see you tomorrow.